question you'd like to ask? Yes. Uh, I'm interested in, in uh, curricula. Do you, do you have your own curriculum at each institution? Are there bigger organizations whose work you use to deliver this information? The curriculum that we have is in-house created. Um, and, and it really is, um, what we like to say, it's, it's a good start. It's a, it's a jumping point off uh, an overview of, for example, in this case, waste action project. Mm -hmm. you know, an overview of waste. But at the same time, I think we do try to um, to customize presentations for schools that are specifically interested in waste um, in, let's say, recycling, or they're really interested in e-waste. So mm -hmm. we do try to to navigate those, those things, yeah. We do a combination of sourcing external um, curriculum and creating our own and, and, our, and or tweaking, you know, stuff we find. So, an example, one of our main professional development um, uh, opportunities we have is around climate change and energy. We actually, ironically, being an astronomy sort of initially founded center, we have much more current effort around um, climate change and energy, sort of renewable energy, alternative energy, um, science and curriculum and teaching. So we've, we've developed our own activities around those things for teachers. We've also used, you know, Lawrence Hall of Science has a tremendous array of curriculum, so we've used a lot of their stuff. Um, we're always trying to, I think it, it's good to, to look at the best practice out there and then bring that, source that, try it out, and then try and get it to fit your needs. So that's, we do a lot of that. We'll, we'll bring in external stuff, and then we'll start to morph it and change it and, and integrate it into existing things. And, um, so it's a combination of, and that, that professional development workshop there's a week-long intensive experience in the summer for fourth and fifth grade teachers this year, and years past we've also had for high school teachers. Uh, and we've created sort of the whole storyline for the, the week and all the curriculum, and there's been many staff involved in delivering that. And uh, that was a combination of definitely creating new stuff and finding existing stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, so we have a um, curriculum that's that we wrote for um, dealing with the four R's, um, and I can share that with you after this is over. Um, it's also online. Um, we have a video called From Oil to Plastic, which talks about, um, and I didn't realize this for you know a very long time, that that's what plastic is, it comes from oil. I didn't know. Um, so, so really kind of getting kids to understand that. Um, but something that really exciting that's coming on. Have, how many of you folks have heard of the Common Core? This is so cool. So the Common Core is going to be coming into California, and it's going to really challenge ex, uh, educators to come up with ways for students to be engaged in the lesson in new ways. So, um, and there are going to be concepts that they're going to need to know, as opposed to just um, teaching to the test, the Common Core is really going to get kids involved um, in a whole variety of different ways. So that's one of the really exciting things that I'm going to be doing over the next year is looking at all of our curriculum for the, edu the education centers and figuring out how we can adjust um, our uh, lessons to meet the Common Core. So, you know, I, one of the things I, I thought when I first started doing this job is, oh, well, you know, I'll be able to adopt, uh, adapt, uh, write this curriculum and, and it'll be fine and then I can move on from there. Well, any good teacher will tell you that it's never done. You know, you keep adding, you pull stuff out, you change it, you figure out ways to bring in current events or things that are happening. You have to adjust or it's just as stale as, you know, a three-day donut. You don't want it. Nobody wants it. You know? No, no amount of coffee in the world is going to bring that baby back to life. You want something that's new and fresh and exciting.